Hi guys, Devil Drugs YZ, and we are back with Indivisible. And honestly, I kind of forgot a little bit about this game already <laughs> because fortunately I had to take a little bit of a sidetrack with uh, some other personal issues and also some updates for some of my games anyway. Uh, well, mostly some of my VR games, but um, yeah, it's been about a week unfortunately, so I may not remember quite as much anymore, but I'm going to try to make the most of it. But if I remember, uh, at least from a week ago anyway, if I remember, I think I was... Whoa! This wind is intense, and you can't see past your hand with all the sand. Well, that's uh, something. <laughs> I guess we can't get out this way after all. Oh, that's a bummer. So much sand and no place to go. Or room. Can't really go anyway. <laughs> the wind's too strong. All right. But anyway, as uh, I'm trying to remember, I think we're. I think we're in uh, trying to. Okay, I know we were trying to defeat Ravenavar, but we somehow tried to encounter him, but we ended up unlocking well something. <laughs> Ginseng was right. The storm won't let us through. I'm sorry. Hmm. Tarani, isn't there some other way out of here? Maybe, but that depends on you. We will need to awaken this power of yours. No! I mean, I'm not sure I want to. I will help you, Luke Sao. We can do it together. Torani, you're so nice! It seems our fates are linked. Good. <laughs> right, Torani. Remember. Okay, I guess I'm master of water. <laughs> I guess kind of like a water bender in a way, but that's kind of diving into a little bit too much into Avatar territory. Anyway, uh, attack plus attack down. No, attack and down attack, making puddles. Tarani's attack and down attack leave small puddles on the battlefield. Up attack activates the puddles. Using Tarani's up attack will activate all puddles on the. I'm not really sure exactly what that supposed to mean. Uh. Passive. Activated puddles will heal friends and harm enemies that run over them. Hmm. Okay, so I guess Torani is also another support type character as well. Okay, um... Let's change out Dar a little bit. Go for Torani. Okay. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember. I, I know we battled Ravanovar, or at least we tried to get to him. We did battle him a little bit, uh, but we didn't finish him off, and unfortunately... So, what do I do? You must meditate. Focus. Let go. Feel the strength flowing from your core, out through each limb and beyond. Feel your life force flow from your heart and through your veins. From your chest to your arms to your fingertips, from your center, to your legs and toes. <sighs> the energy within you is augmented by your experience, by the people you know. The power of the world binds this energy within. I... Concentrate, and let go. I guess this is the new power that we've awakened. <laughs> You've done it. Ah, I can't hold it for long. You'll get better with time. Even if it's for a short while, you can use this power to dash into the wind. <laughs> okay, so at least that's something. Yes, so Ashna unlocked a new power within herself, but at the same time she accidentally released a great evil amongst everything. I think the name was Kala, maybe? <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while. I'm sure the name's gonna come back to me. Okay. So how exactly would this work? Hmm. <laughs> I just want to see what other stuff that I have here. 
I never really go too much into the abilities. Bomb shot. Got interest lessons. Earth's insight. Okay. I'm gonna take a small trip to my inner realm real quick. <laughs> I don't think I have anything new, do I? Because I think I'm still short. Yeah. I don't have any more ring cells for right now. A little on the unfortunate side. Okay. But I kind of do like how my inner realm is expanding. The more people I have absorbed. Hello, Luke Sao, my precious dear. <laughs> All right. All right, I guess any adjusted training, maybe. <laughs> Oh, so I guess it just unlocks automatically. <laughs> I thought I'd like to hold a button or something. <laughs> so strong she could just run through the boulders. Whoa! It worked! It's not as scary as I thought! Maybe for you. Scared, huh? That's not th that's not what I mean. Now that we're out, I suggest we head to Port Marifa. You should stick with Ajna until then. I suppose we have no choice. Right. Once you can get to the port, you can decide whether you'll help Ajna along her journey or leave her to die like common beasts. <laughs> don't worry about it, Zebe. You don't have to stay. I'll get us out of here first. Yes, at this point, her friends are having a hard time trusting her because of this new power. Okay, so... So once I dash, okay. Down circle to slide. Or square, okay. Oh, well, I had to be in that transform state. I wonder if it worked pretty well. I... Yeah, crashing into him actually works pretty well. <laughs> Does it make the battle music change slightly? <laughs> Also, my anti gauge can now go up to three levels now. So that's good. <laughs> hmm. So, what's bothering you? Oops, I guess you can tell what I'm thinking, huh? I can certainly tell what you're feeling. Maybe it will help to talk about it. I don't know. I just feel weird. Why did I get this power? And I'm basically holding all these people hostage inside my brain. I'm not their chief or leader or anything like that. I'm just someone who happened to absorb them. I just wanted to avenge my dad, and now everything's all strange. You feel shame because of the death of your father, guilt for your role in breaking Kala's seal, and fear because of your growing power. But all growth is painful, Ajna. What if this growth gets everyone killed? Hmm. If Kala has indeed awakened because of me, because of you, perhaps. 
But if she has awakened, someone will have to stop her. And far from getting everyone killed, your new strength might be the only thing that can save everyone. Ugh, that's so much pressure! The world won't end if I just... go home, will it? I can't say. We need to learn more about Kala's awakening. Then you can make that choice. How did I get into this situation? Making life or death choices for other people. You may not want to be a leader, but power attracts power, for better or for worse. You can use that power, or you can let it use you. That is your choice, Luxal. <laughs> okay, so... Yes, obviously, Ashna is having doubts about herself and the fact that she has all these powers and abilities, but she's no leader herself. The question, why does she even have this? Why she's been given this responsibility? <laughs> yes, that would put a lot of pressure onto someone. Probably be a good idea to uh, do a save. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go back to the first one. Okay. Good job, Tarani's leveling up. <laughs> Actually, I forgot what level is. What level is Ashna again? Twelve. Okay. Oh, I can't climb up now, can I? I don't know which way, which way, up or down. It seems like the up path is the path I need to take. I like the fact I can even charge up the uh, everyone's attacks depending on their, their level now. <laughs> That's good. I'm, I'm just limited to level one attacks. <laughs> Alright. That's another ring cell. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of thinking of maybe... I worked on defense l last one. Maybe I'll go for offense this time. Uh, let's assume if I can get enough. Ooh, eh. 
Uh. Fortunately, I don't think I can make that. Kind of seems like there's something I probably could make. I don't know. <laughs> Fortunately, it doesn't look like I can make that. Force it blocks. It wasn't the best idea. I don't, I'm hoping I didn't miss much. I just hope I didn't, but I can't guarantee that. <laughs> okay, so it seems like I kind of do need to... ...break open the walls <laughs> in order to jump off of the same wall. from my hair. Gross. Gross. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. I thought I was going to die out here. My throat feels so much better. My hair sustains life. It is far more nourishing than regular water. So gross. <laughs> Shush, Razmi. What are you doing out in the middle of the desert anyway? I am called Kadira. I was following the Imperialist Army of the Iron Kingdom, but I lost them in the sandstorm. Iron Kingdom, huh? They have been a scourge upon my people. Their armies have been taking more and more territory under the guise of protection. My brother was fighting to defend our land, but went missing some months ago. One of our warriors returned with his sword and cape, which I carry now. So you're gonna beat these guys up with your brother's sword? I will not use it until I can return it to him. I can defeat them using my shield alone. Whoa, that's so cool. Where would you learn to fight with a shield? My grandmother taught me over many years using a basket as practice. Women among my people aren't allowed to fight, but she trained me in secret since I was a child. Wow, just like me. Kinda. When his sword was returned to us, I hid my face behind this wrap to avoid detection and left the village. 
I fear he is dead, but I must find out the truth. I was tracking a troop of Iron Kingdom soldiers when the sandstorm hit. I believe they entered the temple, but as you can see, I didn't quite make it that far. Right. We'll help you. Weren't we heading straight for Marifa? But... More dead weight. Dar! This is the first thing you want to say since Sumeru? Come now. We've gotten into enough trouble already. You rush in to help anyone you see. And you only speak up to add something negative. She wants to avenge her brother. I can relate to that, if you get my meaning. Anyway, children, the only way to Marifa is through the temple, so we may as well let her accompany us. There's strength in numbers. I would welcome her. I want to see under your mask. Is your face all weird? Do you have no lip? Let me see. My, my lips are perfectly standard, I'll have you know. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's just take a quick peek. No! Fine, fine. Well, come along anyway. Ajna's gonna absorb you no matter what anybody says. Welcome, no lips. I have lips. Please stop talking about them. Anyway, we must be wary. People say the temple was suddenly abandoned. Oh, that would explain these markings. It looks like sandworms. Ooh, sandworms. Ajna, can I keep one? Just one little thing for old Rosmi. Well, if we have to go through here anyway, no big deal, right? Nice. Yeah, time to find out what a sandworm is. Uh-oh. Let us fight as one. <laughs> All right. Kadira. What does she have? Okay, all of Kadira's attacks have a follow-up. Tap attack again to use them. <laughs> okay. Uh right out Kushi for Kadira. <laughs> I gotta say though, I'm kind of getting a lot of uh a lot of comrades in such a short amount of time, let's just say that. I mean I think I've only been on this game for like a good four to five hours <laughs> that's more than a typical rpg anyway but right below something tells me can't get through this way after all. I'm certain there's a way below. Though it may not be easy. Alright, I guess I'm taking the underground path. <laughs> Whoa, this place is huge! But how do we get out? I've doomed us. Nah, we've been in doomier situations than this. We'll find a way. Doomier situations. Doomier even a word. <laughs> All right, left or right? Okay, I'm guess I'm going going right. God, that's so much damage. <laughs> So it's almost like Kadira can do double hit attacks. <laughs> okay, so Ajna 13, everyone else leveled up. Well, I guess level up. <laughs> I kind of wish it would still include levels. I mean, I guess if I had to mention this game did again. An update, or at least the time I'm doing this recording. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, 
how am I supposed to get that? <laughs> hmm. Right there, and I have no way to get this. So, I mean, there's gotta be a way to lift the platform or something. That's the only way I can think of. This attack is a grab. It can't be blocked. Okay, so instead tap the target's... Uh, wait, what? Instead tap the target's attack at just the right time to avoid it. Hmm. Bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Alright, good. But I don't know how to get that ring cell. What to do? I guess that works. Good. Amount of damage. Dodge this. Ugh. I hate while they're in the air. <laughs> down here. Okay, so I guess it's like a giant labyrinth. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Nice. 
Special delivery. I am your shield. I banish you. My defense holds. I got so many of these things here. Okay, not good. I'm losing my comrades. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, well that didn't go great. Honestly, I still have no idea if I'm even going the right way. <laughs> I just gotta hope for the best. I mean, it seems like there's just endless forks in the road. Sandworm. It's that big? I thought, you know, worms. Animals in the El Muta desert region can grow to incredible size. There have been countless studies of their mutations. I can get you the research if you're interested. It's really quite fascinating. Um, maybe later. For now, let's just get rid of it. A quick jab should get it out of the way. A shot from my bow, then. No, Zebe. I'll do it. As you like, but don't expect this to win me over. <laughs> I guess I had to go on top, but I'll notice someone there. <laughs> All right. Start. Get out there and fight. <laughs> Don't aim me too much. Keep going. Ooh, getting kind of deadly here. Oh no. Oh man. All 
Alright, I guess this was the right way. Uh... Yeah? I guess this was the right way. But if that's the case, then maybe I should go back the other way, I don't know. I'm, I kinda like to try to explore the areas as best I can. <laughs> For any missing goodies or whatever. <laughs> Trying to make it, trying to make the shot. <laughs> trying to make that jump. <laughs> Okay, well, I can't quite make that. Or maybe I can, I don't know. shot. We go. <laughs> Get out of it. Right Keep going. <laughs> Looks like I'm going the other way. Maybe. <laughs> Finally, managed to avoid the grapple. <laughs> That's good.
Again, a lot of these notices from Steam, possibly for the achievements. Alright. A good level up. But through this. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think that was going to work, being able to deflect the arrow to a different direction. <laughs> Fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Good amount of damage so far. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Should have fell in a block. It seems like I just keep going farther and farther down <laughs> here in this desert area. Hmm. I have no idea. Uh, can't make sure wonder how farther down this thing goes. Actually, let me just check. Uh, hey, Kadira, the shield fighting thing you do, could you teach me? <laughs> of course, as my grandmother taught me. Yay, Grandma Kadira. <laughs> well, I think honestly I'm gonna probably call it around about here. Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, at least I managed to somewhat awaken my latent abilities, whatever that, whatever it really is. Still have no idea what it is. But at the very least, for right now, it's giving me a quicker dashing technique. <laughs> so I'll make that as a plus for right now. Alright, but... That being said, I'm gonna probably leave it at that, and hopefully come back to this a lot sooner than before. Alright guys, this is Double Hunter XYZ, and until next time...